Did you know you can make your sim's life aspiration, the thing they work their whole lives towards, entirely grilled cheese related? Life would be so simple if all I wanted was a grilled cheese. Today I'm going through 8 forgotten features of The Sims 4 you might not have known even existed. Most of them are just fun, goofy things that just add to that whimsical vibe of the game. Have you ever been overwhelmed taking care of multiple sims at a time and trying to keep on top of their needs just stresses you out? This feature will make managing a family of eight a lot easier. In your needs panel, you'll see you have the bars and an icon next to them. Just click on the icon and your sims will auto solve their needs. If you click on the hunger icon, the sims will walk to their nearest source of food, be it a fridge, oven, or even a food stall and grab themselves something to satisfy that hunger. No more need to spend time looking for the nearest toilet, shower or entertainment source to keep your sim healthy. Sometimes our sims go through tough times just like everyone else, but just like real life, being sad can sometimes prohibit our sims from getting things done and it can feel like they'll never be out of their slump. Through the phone, you can call the sadness hotline. Your sims will spend some time having a chat with a professional that's trained to listen to your sims problems. After having spoken to someone about it, your sims will gain a happy buff called therapeutic chat. This will give you a plus two happiness and depending on how sad your sim is, it can override that sad feeling and your sims can start to get back to normal and feel more like themselves again. Sometimes our sims just want the simple life, not traveling into space or becoming leader of the free world, just good times and a grilled cheese. With the grilled cheese aspiration, you can have just that. If you cook three grilled cheeses in a row, you will unlock the grilled cheese aspiration. Now, prepare yourself for spending a lot of time at the stove cooking up your favorite meal. I mean, this is an aspiration entirely about grilled cheese. What else do you expect? Well, turns out you not only have to cook a lot of grilled cheese, but also talk to other Sims about grilled cheese, eat grilled cheese in space, even talk to the Grim Reaper himself about the delicacy. Once you complete the aspiration, you will have the ability to summon a grilled cheese at will and I honestly can't think of anything better. Vampires are already pretty spooky and a bit nightmare fueling at the best of times, but with this feature, it gives a whole new meaning to terrifying. If your vampire sim happens to drink from a sim who has the possessed trait from the Strangerville mother plant, the possession will take over your vampire sim. I tried this for the first time and honestly, I feel overall worse off for knowing that the sims can look like that. Thunderstorms can be quite the terrifying experience for your sims, but there's always a silver lining. Try taking a look around your neighborhood after lightning has struck and see if there are any rare crystals around your world. If you're a bit low on cash, these crystals and rocks can be sold for a decent amount of simoleons. Being a mixologist in The Sims isn't just making endless ridge ports for very juiced customers. You can also mix up some pretty interesting concoctions with surprising results. If you reach level 9 of the mixology career, you might encounter a mysterious old man offering you a special drink recipe for 200 simoleons. If you buy the recipe, the snaggle fluster recipe will appear in the drinks menu when going to make a drink. Just make sure your sims have maxed out the mixology skill, otherwise you won't be able to make it. If your sim consumes this, you will find that they build skills a lot faster. Very handy. Feel like you know the sims worlds like the back of your hand by now and you want somewhere new to explore? Well, there are four hidden worlds for your sims to discover. The Sylvan Glade is an enchanting world that looks straight out of a fairy tale. To find this place, you'll need to head to the Crick Cabana lot in Foundry Cove neighborhood in Willow Creek. You'll find a large tree to the right of the lot. View the tree a few times and then an option to water the tree will pop up. Keep watering until you can start chatting to the tree. Eventually, after chatting to the tree for a while, a passageway will open up and you can go through and explore. You will travel through a rabbit hole and then you will have to make various decisions to navigate your way to the glade. Make sure you select follow the sound, travel downstream, enter the mist and travel to the glade. Unlike the other hidden worlds, you can build on the glade if you type in the bb.enable free build cheat. 
How cute would it be to have a fairy cottage in this location? Did you know if you have the spa day game pack, you can reach the Sylvan Glade through meditation? I had no idea this was a thing and I just think it's so cool. You might have spotted that abandoned mine entrance in the Oasis Springs Park. Well, with a handiness skill of 10, you can break open that entrance and travel through to the forgotten grotto. Again, it is a rabbit hole and you will have to make decisions to find your way there. Select take the wide path, then climb the ladder and step onto the ledge to find your way to the grotto. If you have the outdoor retreat game pack and you're exploring the woods, you might come across a concealed entrance covered in shrubs northeast of the cabin. No special skills needed for this one, just click and start exploring. Select step forward, go through the web, ignore the object and approach the sim. You will then travel to the deep woods. You'll find a hermit and their home in this area. Spend enough time with the hermit, gain some friendship and they can give you gardening tips and a recipe for a fertilizer. If you have the get to work expansion pack, you'll have the ability to travel to another planet, Sixum. I made sure my sim was in the rocket scientist career branch of the scientist career. Then I could add a wormhole generator to my rocket. Once you've added the wormhole generator, you can click on the rocket and select travel to Sixum. Your sim will blast off into space and explore the new planet. There you will find beautiful cosmic views, plenty of rare elements to collect and aliens to interact with. All of the hidden worlds can provide some interesting finds in the way of collectibles, so spend some time fishing or digging around to see what you come across. Now this one is a little silly, but it's a lot of fun and can have some very funny results. If you've shift clicked on any objects around the world before, you might notice this option set as head. It really does what it says on the label. If you click on it, whatever the object is will suddenly appear on your Sims head, usually a very large version of that object. Don't worry, your Sims will not have a huge toilet on their head forever. To undo this, just shift click again on your Sim and select reset and their head will return back to its normal shape and size. Well, those are just some of the forgotten features of The Sims 4. I really like the set as head one. Honestly, it has much potential to get very chaotic. Let me know if you want me to make a, another video listing more of these forgotten features. There are so many I could make tons, so please let me know. But that is all I have for you today. So I will see you next week with another video. Bye.